Yeah, my name is Claudia Jecker. Um, I'm the lead developer of OpenBGPD. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about it. Uh, the motto is a bit got to go fast. Um, maybe if a quick recap, OpenBGPD was started about 15 years ago, uh, pretty much on the day. Um, and uh, since then, we've done quite a bit of development, but uh, especially now in the last few months, we were actually able to accelerate the development. Um, and I'm going to cover a few things here. Uh, one of the main topics that I'm looking at is um, route servers um, and OpenBGPD for route servers. Um, I think a lot of people are using them already uh, in, in their small setups uh, on, on, on OpenBSD boxes or um, to do simple routing. Um, but one of the, the, the goals, at least initially, was also that OpenBGPD should be a, a good uh, route server solution. Now, if we look at how it looks at the moment, um, it doesn't really look that great. So uh, one of the main issues is that um, OpenBGPD is actually not fast enough if you actually want to run full filters on the route servers, which is actually one of the most important things that you should do now is actually you want to do the full filtering because um, the internet exchange points are sometimes uh, places where uh, routing leaks are, are kind of propagated and, and this needs to kind of stop. Um, so looking into this, uh, we identified that uh, our um, 15 years old design is now slowly showing that it's actually not as, as great anymore, especially if we consider 15 years ago, the, the routing table was just above 100,000 routes, uh, and now we're at 700, 750,000 routes. So uh, there was a lot of grow happening in that time, but we actually didn't really change that much inside um, of the code. Um, another uh, point is that uh, why the filters are so slow is actually if we look at an IXP um, here as an example, the one in Calgary, uh, which has about 50 peers, um, they require about 370,000 filter rules uh, to do the full filtering. And because of that, it actually takes a long time to actually uh, especially doing the config reloads. And um, so all in all, we're, um, it doesn't really look good. Uh, one of the reasons, um, or, or what then actually happened, is that a lot of, of, of internet exchange points all switched to, to kind of using BERT, um, which is currently one of the only options um, to use as a route server. So um, for us, it became uh, very important that we actually want to have uh, a viable alternative and bringing OpenBGPD back as this alternative. Um, so in the end, um, we need quite a bit of an effort to make this happen. And um, how we solve this is um, thanks to uh, funding from uh, a big part from RIPE NCC uh, and their community project funds, but also from various uh, internet exchange points, as in uh, D6, uh, NetNot, M6, uh, the Berlin Internet Exchange, LONAP, uh, and the various others, um, we were able actually to, to get uh, one developer working full-time on this. Uh, this one developer, it's me. Um, so I'm working f uh, <laughs> since, since, uh, since June full-time on, on OpenBGPD, and I'm trying to making it better. Um, so people may have noticed um, OpenBSD 6.4 just got out. Um, we were a little bit ahead of schedule, but uh, it's nonetheless, it's already out. Um, and OpenBGPD in 6.4 already has quite a few um, new features. So first of all, we changed uh, the, the filter policy to a default deny policy. This is uh, coming from RFC 8212. The idea is um, people should be, uh, should, should need to be um, aware that uh, when they do something in BGP that the stuff is not automatically leaking. Um, the, the other big change that we did is uh, we actually added RPKI ROA support. Um, so 
currently this is done uh, as a kind of static table. Um, we're not doing RTR um, yet, um, but it is fast enough and it, it works very reliable. So uh, once you are able to use something like the RPKI validator from, from RIPE, you can export that as a JSON, rewrite that JSON into uh, a BGP config, and then just do a reload. And this reload is really fast. Um, we also introduced uh, various kind of sets, so it's possible to to have lookups for large numbers of prefixes of AS numbers, or even for origin. So, kind of the idea of what we use for RPKI, um, also as a as a as a independent kind of lookup. Um, and with that, we're able to replace large amount of, of filter rules with more or less one single lookup. Um, another important thing that we changed is uh, the soft reconfiguration that happens on reloads is now running in background. Um, so thanks to this, we no longer have kind of a locking uh, situation when you do a reload. So uh, once you do the reload now, the updates are actually moving and everything is fine. All in all, um, we did about 100 and over 150 commits. Uh, since the 6.3 release, um, this is about 8% of all commits to BGPD. Um, I think this is actually showing quite nicely that um, the funding that is actually um, put in place is actually also uh, showing the fruits, kind of. Now, looking at this a little bit like what we have in 6.4, um, how, how does this actually um, end up with? So at at YYCIX, this is more or less a, a internet exchange point where I'm able to kind of put my fingers in. Um, it's using a route service to generate the configuration. And the original setup with 6.3 was um, that it actually consists uh, generated around the 370,000 filter rules. Um, now with 6.4, uh, thanks to all these additional AS set, prefix sets, and origin sets, we're now below 6,000 rules. Um, which is a huge improvement and actually makes it a lot faster. Um, the the big bulk of the of the of the saving is coming from the AS sets and prefix sets, uh, which are used for for building these IRR based filtering, and then the origin sets uh, is used for RPKI and the R and DB filtering. And with all of that, we're kind of down to now a level of routes which are, or a level of filters. Um, that kind of seems to be handleable very well. Also, the, back, um, the background recon um, reconfiguration change is helping a lot, as in um, it no longer blocks updates from, from being processed while the config is being reloaded. Um, looking a little bit into the future, um, so in OpenBSD 6.5, this is due in May, um, the the targets that I set myself is a we want to um, or there should be better community filtering. We want uh, to be able that um, that you can match more than one community per filter rule. This is still a very old um, limitation that is in place, and also we want to do faster sets and deletes. Um, looking at uh, profiling, it shows that. Um, the, the communities, especially now in, in, in configuration like a route server, um, are being added and deleted multiple times during execution of the filter set. And uh, making this faster will also improve the, the performance. Um, there will be more fil um, filter refinements. There is going to be tuning. Um, we're going to refactor the FIP, uh, the RIP quite a bit um, so that it's, it's um, working a lot faster. And uh, finally, what we also want to do is we want to resurrect the portable version um, and make sure that it actually stays alive. So this is a little bit similar to what OpenBSD is doing with a uh, project like OpenSSH or LibreSSL. Um, at the beginning, uh, we want to make sure that uh, people can run it on uh, Linux and other BSDs. Um, at first, probably without FIP support, especially on Linux. Um, but this is something that will probably then follow later on. So if we look at uh, the future projects, um, we have, uh, or, or that's kind of stuff that will happen afterwards, or um, if I'm faster than I'm 
considering going to be. Um, we want to start doing multi-thread support. Um, one big issue of, of BGP is, and actually quite, or most BGP um, implementation have this issue, is that they're inherently um, single process or single CPU. And uh, we actually want to use multiple threads to work on, on the updates um, because machines that you buy now normally have more than one CPU. They, they come with a lot of, um, of CPUs and you need to be able to use them. Um, I also want to add uh, FIP support in the portable version um, so that the, that people can really use uh, OpenBGPD on other systems than just OpenBSD. And uh, there is also a plan to add new features. Um, some of the things that currently are on our, on our list or the things that we've seen as, as being interesting to work on is uh, add path support, um, doing BGP multipath, uh, doing BMP for better monitoring, and uh, the RTR support, as mentioned earlier. So um, I have to give a big thanks to all these guys that are actually supporting this. Um, and I also want to give a big thanks to uh, Job Snyders, who, is, uh, who kind of uh, made this even possible by talking to all these people and getting the money. So um, uh, big thanks there. And uh, that's it. Any questions? Seems nobody, everybody wants coffee. Yeah, it was quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Claudia.